Hey, it's Natalie. Hey, Hey, y'all, it's Madeline. And I'm Autumn, and this is TWT. Very special guest, Ms. Jolena Bacon, also known as Jolena X Marie on Instagram. And today we'll be speaking about how she's managed to balance being a full-time college student at TWU while also being a fitness and lifestyle influencer. With me, I have our special guest, Ms. Jolena Bacon. Why don't you tell us a little more about yourself before we begin? Hi, Natalie. Um, thank you so much for having me. Um, so for my social media, my account is mainly made for the gym girlies who don't know where to start on their like fitness journeys and basically like motivating them to stay consistent. Um, I love like including full workouts for free because like I know like college students you gotta like pay for things so I was like we're gonna make this free because (laughs) why not yeah that's (laughs) but like recently I've been like posting more things like what I eat for breakfast or like the supplements I take um but yeah even though this account is like mainly based on fitness I love showing what my life is like whenever I'm not at the gym I've noticed that yeah I've noticed that your content has became like also more of lifestyle like yeah. what you eat and what you do throughout your day and I really enjoy that but um so getting started with our first question um uh, what does your social media platform focus on I know you just you know briefly touched based on it but um mm-hmm. what you do overall with it yeah so for workouts I don't want to do like you know like those crazy like eight to ten exercises for like workouts mm-hmm. I just I feel like it's easier to kind of just quit on yourself whenever it's too much you can ha- you can't handle, you know? Right. So being more consistent on like let's say like 4 to 5 exercises um on something you actually enjoy. Like for me, if I like if I'm feeling an upper body day and it was supposed to be a leg day, I'll literally like switch up the days, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. It's it's really what you feel like doing rather than following mm-hmm. a routine or a schedule and that's what makes it fun you know yeah or like even just adding like some people they don't feel liking you know like running and like cardio so cardio. I'll just do like a little I don't know like challenge I'll go with like my friends and then we would do something like like a little race or yeah. I don't know, just whatever Me personally I cannot do cardio <laughs> <laughs> but um with that being said, how has your experience been uh, balancing your student life and influencer life? So it was pretty easy, like my first two years of college, I would say. Mm-hmm. But um, once my classes started getting harder, it just became more difficult to post and stay consistent while trying <clears throat> to keep up with school and making good grades. It's it's hard, but it's not impossible. So like yeah. prioritizing your time. Um is super important because there would be a time when I'd wake up and go to the gym at 5 a.m. and then edit some content and then girl I had classes from 9 30 to 2 20 and great. after that no it was crazy and then I would go to work on some homework and then go in for work again at 4 to 8 wow. so um yeah just prioritizing time but recently I got a new job so now I work at 9 p.m to 2 a.m which sounds terrible wow. It sounds terrible because, you know, like, let's be so for real. Everyone loves their sleep. Yeah. Uh, But with my schedule right now, it's actually perfect. So managing your time would be the most important, I feel like. I feel like that's very important because, um, you know, it's human nature to procrastinate. And I'm talking from experience. Like, I am like, I can do it later. I can do it later. But when you have so much on your plate like that, you kind of have to, like, make time for things, you know, like no yeah I always do everything but yeah um so what encouraged you to become an influencer so I've actually never told this to anyone except for like my siblings but I started working out because when I was little tell me why someone called me box body like oh my goodness. In, a way, <laughs> in a way that made me so insecure so I remember one summer I think I was in like sixth grade or something mm-hmm. I started spamming ab workouts like crazy like doing crunches like that's all you would do yes like like strictly like just ab workouts I'd be doing crunches on my parents bathroom floor or like you would just find ways to do stuff yes and 
I don't know. My brother is actually the first person who got me into the gym and helped me figure out how to do each exercises. Um, I never really like realized or like told him that. But yeah, he got me into the gym. So once I started working out, I was starting to see the potential in what I could offer to those who, who had been in my position and Yeah. don't know where to start. Um, so for those who need like extra encouragement to keep fighting towards their goals, I ultimately made the decision to create a fitness page. And that's where I started doing like free workouts. Because like I said, like no one, if I was little, I would want someone like me now to kind of like encouraging guide me up. you yeah Yes. So. I feel like um the gym and fitness can be an intimidating thing because you don't know where to start or you're scared you're doing something wrong and uh Yeah. you know people are gonna judge you and it's like it's a learning process like when you start you really don't know anything but you learn with even with the gym or with anything you learn by doing so um practice makes better and I feel like that's what that's the motto you have to go through like um you know if I never start I'm never gonna know exactly what potential I have I totally you know get that because girl I was struggling like literally the first time I was at the gym <laughs> I would always be so con like literally I would look around the gym like oh my god everyone's yeah staring at me but you know everyone's just doing their own thing and once you have like that mindset like oh, like, we're all here to kind of, like, better ourselves, and we all have a goal to literally work our way towards, you know, you Yeah. kind of stop focusing on other people and focus on yourself. That's good to hear. So um, with that being said, what advice would you give to someone who'd like to do social media but yet continue pursuing their degree? Um, If it's in your heart you and you really want to do it, I say go for it. Like I said earlier, prioritizing your time is going to save you. And sometimes you need to make those sacrifices in order to get to where you want to be, even if you got to wake up at five in the morning. Um, <laughs> so, Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. I feel like people think, oh, if I'm sticking to this, I can only do this. And it's not like that. Like you can do so many things at the same time. Um, Yeah. for example, me, like I work, um, I do social media and I um do school full time. And it's like if I if I can do it, I can make time for it. Like Mm -hmm. I just have to prioritize my time, not procrastinate and you know, get things done. And that's Mm -hmm. oh period she's a working queen <laughs> so what are some companies you've had partnerships <laughs> with either in the past or currently oh I like this question I know you do <laughs> <laughs> so some brands I've worked with in the past include Able Bloom's Nutrition, Bowen T, um, the Buff Bunny Collection, and more. I just can't think of any more at the top of my head. But my favorite brand I'm currently with working with is Under Armour and One Up Nutrition. So for my gym queens or kings who need some supplements and protein powders, One Up has many options for y'all. So y'all should check it out. <laughs> Yeah, um, I feel like that speaks highly of you because I feel like you doing full-time student and still having big partnerships like this, such as Under Armour, like who doesn't know Under Armour, um, is great. You know, like you can do it and it just proves that you can do anything you set your mind to. And I'm beyond proud of you for that. Uh, and yeah, you're just going to continue growing. Uh, it's admiring. But um. What would you consider to be a turning point to your career and what keeps you motivated? Um, about two years ago, I think it was two years ago, um, my TikTok got hacked, which was my main social media platform at the time. Mm And -hmm. it was just like so devastating and sad because imagine spending hours on videos just for them Right. to be wiped out in a matter of seconds, you know. Um, Yeah. of course, I had my breakdown moments. And after many, many, many prayers, God helped me. to realize that I'll be just fine. And from there, I started to focus and put more of my time into building up my Instagram instead of TikTok. And I feel like that's where more brands started finding my page and reaching out to me. So um, I thank God for all the blessings and opportunities he's given me throughout this entire journey, because without him, none of this would have been possible. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm so grateful because you won't always be motivated 
to go to the gym, but I'm telling you, it starts getting addicting when you see the results and progress coming in, you know? So uh, it's completely normal to be in a slump every once in a while, but you got to get back on track because why stop when you've already started, you know? Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I feel like we all find ourselves like not motivated and in this little funk like you don't feel like doing anything but you kind of have to get yourself out of there like well I've came so far just to leave it behind now you know and whenever you do like we start to it's like the first couple days they'll be hard but you'll yeah. get on track the next week you know yeah it, it takes time to build a routine after you've lost it but you know once you get it going you you're back on track and it feels refreshing you know it really um, does yeah so we know social media can be a dark place. Um, how do you cope with negativity throughout your platforms if you encounter any at all? Yeah, I've had plenty of hate comments in the past. And still to this day, I literally woke up and, and read one this morning. And I'm not going to lie, like I deleted it because yeah. I mean, honestly, if it gets like too much, there's a delete button. But yeah. I just I used to take things like so personally whenever I'd see a mean comment about myself. But at the end of the day, like these people don't know you. Like they're just hiding behind a screen. Screen, you know what I mean? Like wanting yeah. to tear someone else down. I feel like we shouldn't give our time of day to negativity because that just speaks about themselves, you know? Yeah, and it's just that's so mean. Like I feel like who I am as a person today is so different from who I used to be a couple of years ago because now I completely just ignore them like yes it's gonna hurt like words do like leave an impact on someone but I always remember you know like hurt people hurt people so maybe yeah. they have something going on in their lives that no one knows about and is trying to make someone feel just as bad yeah definitely I feel like um we need to learn how to mm -hmm. ignore stuff as humans it's human nature you know it gets to us um but just moving past it and being like well that does not reflect me that reflects that mm -hmm. person so um that's really what matters mm -hmm. um, so back to your student life what are you pursuing your degree in um so I am majoring in communication sciences and disorders wow. and minoring in child development because I want to be a speech language pathologist for wow. children um yeah that's the goal so that's pretty cool and I know it really doesn't relate to fitness so whenever you do reach that point do you plan on using your platform um you know to bring awareness to your job yeah like like I do plan to like continue because I know it's gonna be like I want to be able to encourage other people who don't work out to kind of just keep themselves like healthy because it's kind of hard to have like not a, like a set workout plan whenever no one's like encouraging you to right so I just want to continue that and whenever I do get older like I don't think it's anything that I'm gonna like stop doing it's something I just want to continue to like grow from yeah I feel like once you like we said earlier once you start something it's really hard to just get rid of it and you've came a long way on social media um especially doing it at such an early age and um doing it while being a college student um, which makes things a lot more difficult and you know just giving it up later is gonna be like well I did all that hard work for nothing so mm -hmm. there's really no going back from here yeah, there really is <laughs> like there's no option <laughs> so last question for you uh, Ms. Jolina what's the most important lesson you've learned from becoming a social media influencer while being a college student um, the most important lesson, honestly, live life in the moment and never take things for granted because even being busy with, you know, making content, going to school, going to work, I still make time for the people I love, like my family and friends, because yeah. they have always been my biggest support system and I'll forever be grateful for the people I have in my life. Um, and also like one more piece of advice I want to include is that everyone starts somewhere it's yeah. never too late to like try something new. So if you want to start a fitness page, um, I say go ahead and make one and I'll literally be your number one fan. Like <laughs> I support you in everything. So 
um, yeah, live life with no regrets and enjoy every bit of it because tomorrow is never promised. Yeah, I feel like you brought out a very great point. Um, your support system is amazing. And, you know, social media, being a college student, um, balancing all of these things together, mental health really comes in handy. You know, like you have to be set. You have to, um, like we said, there's bumps. Life's not perfect. There's a, mm -hmm. there's a roller coaster of emotions because you're trying to settle in. You're trying to adjust to what you're doing um but having people around you that are really rooting for you and really want to see you succeed has mm -hmm. a big role in it like look for people that you know want to see you do better want to see you pro progress um it's really important overall but with that being said um thank you so much for being part of the TWD podcast series um we truly enjoyed hearing you out and um you know seeing your lifestyle your fitness life your student life um, um it was great talking to you Natalie thank you so much for having me